But it's there. So the disciples of Jesus had not gone too far for Jesus to see them. He saw them and he said, I will go and help them out. So while Satan was trying to kill them in the middle of the night, in the middle of the sea, Jesus showed up. But before he could walk, he couldn't get there, all the boats were gone, so how does he get there? He's Jesus. He couldn't have decided, I don't know, maybe to fly or something. But he just decided to take a walk on the water. <laughs> just decided to take a walk. And he did. Because when his friends are in trouble, his heart is troubled. He will go and get some help to them just in time before they're destroyed. And that's what he did. Let us come back to our passage. I want you to follow this so that when you read it alone some other time, at least you can see some of this exposition and hopefully understand some of these things. So the Bible says, And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, it is a ghost. And they cried out for fear. So help is coming, but instead of the disciples seeing help, what do they see? Danger. They don't see help, they see danger. Why? Why would a proud man, strong man, at least they're supposed to be, cry like that? I don't know about you. I'm from the Safa community in Bayer, it's the southern part of southwestern part of the country of Tanzania. In my community, men don't cry. They don't cry. At least they are not supposed to cry. <laughs> Even when a little boy cries, that boy will be laughed at. And he told you right there, something like, don't cry like women. I'm sorry, women. <laughs> don't, don't cry like cry. Even when I, when I was a little, I felt like really crying, but they would not let me cry. <laughs> because men don't cry. So when I was reading, I was reading my Bible and you have these 12 disciples of Jesus Christ, who are supposed to be strong and mighty, who are going to be the foundation of the Christian church. They're in this small box, and maybe they're just kind of uh, in solidarity, kind of maybe clinging to each other, crying in unison. <laughs> this was so difficult for me to understand. But why would they cry so much? There was a reason. There was a reason. There was a reason. Scholars tell me that people in the Middle East and around the, the Sea of Galilee, they used to kind of uh, have this uh, superstition. They believed that every water body had a, uh, what we, uh, they used to call water spirit or ghosts. They believed that when you see those ghosts or water spirits, you're not supposed to see them, but if it happens that you see them, that's the end of you. Because those water spirits would drown whatever water vessel that you are riding on, they would drown it, drown it all the way down and they would make sure that you are dead. They would kill you. So because they had never seen anybody walking on the water before, so the first thing that came to their mind was, see, we are gone, we are done. The water spirits. <laughs> That's why that kind of triggered that kind of cry. Now we may laugh at the disciples of Jesus. And we may ask ourselves the question, or I may ask you the question, why is it that we human beings are so negative sometimes? I was thinking, why didn't they just think of something more positive, you know? Maybe somebody was just fishing or doing something and, uh, you know, 